Jake, what's it just been like, I guess, learning every position and kind of just making yourself available to whatever the team needs right now? Yeah, uh, the attention to detail in practice is really high. Um, just, you know, trying to stay on par with, with a lot of the guys here coming from a uh, lower level Division One program. Uh, it was definitely difficult, especially in camp. Um, getting accustomed to everything that goes on down here was was a challenge, but you know I was just working working at it and trying to take in as much of the coaching as I possibly could and, and try to play as well as I could. Uh, it was a great opportunity. Um, unfortunately, we didn't come out with a win. The message that week was we really had to win that game, and, and, and we fell short. Um, it was nice to play, but I, I just really wanted to win. Did you kind of envision. Sorry, did you kind of envision like maybe at some point later in the season you get your kind of legs under you? Or are you kind of where you, would, you were hoping you would be when you first enrolled? Yeah, definitely. I was not where I wanted to be in the beginning of the season. Um, it was it was a challenge and just adjustment, and I just tried to learn as much as I possibly could, going from tackle to center to guard and just trying to learn everything. I was not where I wanted to be, and I'm still not. I still want to be a lot better. I think you know I, I played. And yeah, I got the start, but there's a lot more that I can do and a lot more that I can show, and, and that's where I want to get to in order to help our team win. How do you evaluate how you did in the first part? It seemed like you maybe got a little more comfortable as the game went on. Definitely. Um, you know, it was loud. It was loud. That was something that, you know, we had the volume up in practice, but it was, it was pretty loud getting, to, getting used to that. Um, after that first drive, I think I got to settle down for sure. Uh, it was a great experience. That was a really good D-line. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a game until the, the very end, so... It was it was definitely a good experience. What's helped you adjust to a higher level of Division One? Yeah, uh, Coach Atkins does a really, really, really great job at holding us to a certain standard. Um, that has that has helped me a lot. Just kind of taking his coaching, and you know, if I take the wrong step, he'll let me know. Uh, you know, even something super minute. So just having that, you know, having him, uh, Coach Ratita, Coach Ben, and Coach Meach, just you know, four sources uh, of of coaching that that can really help me progress. That's been kind of the biggest thing. Thing on the outside, people think it might be easy to, to offensive lines, offensive line, whether you're playing tackle, guard, or something. The fact that you, like you said, you've repped the guard, you've repped the center, repped the tackle, just to, you know, how difficult is that? And, and I guess this is going to make you a better player overall, you hope. Yeah, I think, you know, our D line is outstanding. We have just phenomenal athletes here. So going going against guys like Daryl and Josh, you know, Pat and Marvin every day has helped me progress going from, we had great players back at, back at Harvard when I was there, um, but there's kind of a, different edge at practice here. Um, it's very different than the Ivy League for sure. So having that has helped me progress as well. Off the field, what's been the biggest transition going from Harvard down to Tallahassee? The heat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not as hot in Boston. How, how valuable a resource is, has Andre Otto been? He's kind of in the same spot as you, is working at the guard spots, working at Summit Center, and also kind of getting his first playing time here this year. Uh, he's been great. Uh, he and I, from practice to the weight room, push each other to get get the most out of each other. So like, you know, if he's lifting five pounds more than me, I have to lift 10 pounds more than him and so on and so forth. So he's been a great competitor. Um, you know, we, we try to do stuff off the field too and hand and, and such, but you know, he's just been a great uh, competitive resource for me, for sure. We don't really, uh, I didn't, I was repping with the ones, I was repping with the twos. It was just kind of like a, I didn't think too much into it. I was just trying to be as prepared as I, I could have been uh, right up to the game. Last two games, you guys have had someone's of a run game kind of come alive. What do you guys maybe attribute that to? Attention to detail. We definitely changed how we practice as an O-line, uh, focusing on just different things. Uh, I think really staying on blocks has been uh, a big focus. Um, and then just effort, hand placement, all that, all the, all the fundamentals. We kind of just went back, focused more on fundamentals, held ourselves accountable to that. And that's really helped our run game kind of progress to where it should be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.